Why not? Oops. Because it's a class trial. Oh yeah, I thought you meant <laughs> reading JoJo or some crap. <laughs> no. And I thought you meant like tonight or something. I thought you were talking about time wise. Um, we've got oh, six. No. So what can handle six? There's a couple of fours. Um, reveals V points. Effective during non-stop amount. Yeah. Silence all conversations except those at the radical is on. Um, effective during mass panic debates. That could be useful. Librarian glare. Um, instantly silences loud voices in favor. That is also very effective. May I? Maybe I might get that. Um, the keyword in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Effective during debate scrums. Wait, what's the what's the keyword? What do they mean keyword? Oh, I think I know what they're talking about. They're talking about, like, the orange or blue stuff. I guess. Yeah, that's not that great. What was that again? Oh, that's, like... Increases the amount of letter cubes that can be acquired um, at once. Effective during psych taxi. What are the... Oh. Nah, I don't have a problem with psych ta taxi. Makes it easier to push the opponent back during blade lock. Um, I don't have a problem with that. So. Removes the time penalty for breaking a non er 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 erasable piece. Effective during imagination excavation. What was imagination excavation again? That's when you're looking for the thing, and you're breaking the blocks, like Minesweeper. Oh, that. Um, I don't have a problem with that either. High tension. The tension gauge will increase at a faster rate. Effective during argument arm and, uh, armament. What's that again? <laughs> I don't know. So aim for um no oh, okay no it's not um I might get which one was it I might get that that could be wait what's this um what was that. Which one's the thing's better? This I one. Know, it's you. Oh, I might do that. Wait, oops, what? Um. Is that. Okay, you ready? Let's do this! Sure. <laughs> now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. You need more motivation! I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I'm gonna I just move want to, to ask something bed. since there's not a lot of us left. How dare you. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like a tie? 
It means they're both the blackened, as long as one of them is correct. That's fine. Wait, as long as one of them is correct? So did they both still get the executed though? Okay. Oh yeah, you Daddy, can move Are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Got it! We can't die here! Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. That's none of your business! We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? Don't screw around! There's no way I'm the culprit! Kaito right! Kaito couldn't have killed Mew! How long are you going to keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit. He can't be. Kaito logged out first, by himself. Um... Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible! That wouldn't be it. I'm just kind of right, blah blah blah. Oh, cause I... Maybe that. Didn't I mean, do it. We found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying um, to pin the blame on me. Then. That diversion was part of your plan. Kaito is only um, the only one logged out from the virtual world. Well, he was looking for the seeker yep. of the outside world. Wait, what? Why'd you say yep? I don't know. Kato was the only one logged out of the virtual world. While he was looking for the secret of the outside world on the mansion's rooftop, a ring of light appeared around his feet, and he was suddenly logged out against his will. Not knowing if it was okay to log back in or not, he went to um, his room and slept. Right, Could Kaito. be that though. Well, Kaito, any last words? Um, this just says no external wounds, right? Blah, blah, blah. No injuries can be found on the victim's body. He said poison. What do you mean, last words? I guess that maybe. That's why blah blah blah. Kaito logged okay. out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when he poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me! That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to lie, do you? Do you? Huh? You're lagging. You, you... Five more minutes, it says. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm meant to lie. 
When he says Mew was still in the game or something. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! Actually, maybe not. I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. Uh, well, the killing is in the chest contain the following objects can't break. Avatars cannot be injured, however, the body's five senses are connected to the avatar, and any damage an avatar takes is felt by the user's real body. Um, if, if an avatar takes fatal damage, then the real body will also die from shock. Besides that, the virtual world... Maybe that. He says poisoned. But I don't see how that contradicts it. It just, like, says another possibility. There are no special travel measures such as vehicle. I might just try that it. Uh, part of your who cares if I lose a bit of health? Am I right? Who cares if I lose a bit of health? You was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her. Right, Kaito? Oh. Kaito culprit? Oh my God. Of course it's impossible. Because I didn't do it. I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? Man, I'm going horrible. <laughs> Kaito logged in. You were still logged in there. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Oh. <laughs> Shut up, okay? Don't, don't give me that look, Matt. Paying attention. No, Kaito you should really first. be paying attention. Why? I'm not the one playing the game. Yeah, but like, you got experience. I already know what happens anyway. Got experience what I'm going through. I already know what you're um, going through. I've seen a playthrough of this game. No, but you got like, you was still pay attention. In, though. Um. I don't even know the time we found the body. Oh crap, the update's it was finished. Check the um check the login logout record. Okay, the... No, that's not there. No, it, it doesn't have any that's of that. Poisoned her. Right, Kaido? I know. Unless... Hello? Hello? Oh, okay. Why'd you want to check it? Um, go down. We want to see when we discover the body. So everyone logged out at 6.55. There you go. So we found the body 25 minutes after she was killed. Okay. Kaito well. culprit? Impossible! Of course it's. What about Hammer? Found on the ground by Mii's avatar. Mii claimed she had rewritten the virtual world's program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. That doesn't contradict though. Maybe it does. Maybe it clearly demonstrates that she was killed by oh, Hema. Because I didn't do it. I mean, we found that bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? Oh. The was to blame on me. That was plan, right? Do you even know? Nope. 
Kaito logged out himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Oh my god. Wait. When was... Um... Oh, wait, so... Oh, I can't check out our five... Actually, 517 took a while to kill her, didn't it? Ah, uh, yep. Ugh. Um, but... Yeah, so it has to be Monokuma file. Yeah, whatever. Kaito logged out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? Maybe that. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, I don't know then. That doesn't contradict it. I know it doesn't, but what does? What does? <laughs> Do you want me to look it up? Do I have to lie? Do you want me to check? Yes, that would be great. I'll check. Do I have to oh, no, bloody please. lie? I wish you would tell me when I had to lie, because it's like not telling me, it's just like... It's just dog. It's copying now. I think you do have to use a lie. Maybe. Wait. Never mind. You don't. No, no lie. Did I try Kaito's account? It's not Kaito's account. Oh, okay. Is it Monokuma file? No. Damn it. Is a killing game simulator? No. Is a. Do you even get why it is? Mm hmm. Is a. Hammer? Nope. Is a. What else was there? A uh, small bottle of poison. Yep. What? On. But. That's what I thought, but. Out first by himself. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her, right, Kaito? But. If I say what I think he's gonna say. Mew wasn't killed by poison. And the warning on the label proves it. Oh, her red dot. I forgot about her red eyes. Mm-hmm. How did I? I forgot about that. I even said to myself before that she couldn't have been killed by it because of the bloodshot eyes. Didn't I? Yep. You sure did. I totally forgot. Job. I was totally thinking of. Oh, I should have read into it more. I should have read into it. Yeah. Oh, I hate myself. I hate myself. Calm down. Because. Oh, oh I'm so stupid. Because I was so. I was so. I was thinking about because it said. Because I was on Kokichi C. And then I heard Kaito be like, Oh, well, it was on your seat, and then, um, bloody, what's his name, bloody, Kokichi was like, Oh, could've just moved it. I'm done. 
How did I forget about that? Drinking the poison will uh -huh. result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. <laughs> That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. Did you forget about that as well? Nope. Well, kinda. Sweet. When I looked at the answer, I was like, wait, then what? what was that poison? Oh, for? okay. Yeah. Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died red by herring. poison. Then, what was her real cause of death? In game death. Mew's real cause of death. The only one I can think of. Where is it? Killing game simulator. Maybe. Yep. This is it! They got it. Mew's cause of death was the killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, <coughs> the real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. See, before before we actually got into it, I thought she had been strangled because she had a oh. she had her hands up on a on a neck. Yeah. For some reason, so I just. You know, it looked like that, yeah. Yeah. When I first saw the dead body, I thought the same thing. You received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. Then I, um, when he read the Monokuma file, I was like, no external wounds. And I'm like, what? <laughs> if you look back on the video, I'm pretty sure I actually said, yeah. like, what? <laughs> no yeah, external wounds. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gunta has question. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? If you don't understand, then don't say anything. If Mew was killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out... ...is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. What do you mean? What caused so the it? cause of death in the virtual world... Is the one that matters. The shock. We already said this. The shock or whatnot, you know? Convincing the brain that you're dead killed her. I guess it was more... It was, I've only... We, we went through it a bit on here, but we went through it more on Danganronpa 2. <laughs> you know? Didn't we? Huh? Idiot. Don't respond. Um, Are you actually... Am I lagging out or something? What'd you say? Am I I, all I have was something. Oh. Well, I guess we only heard a bit of... Um, a bit about the whole death in real life scenario. In this case, I'm, I've heard more about it in Danganronpa 2. And that's why I know all about it. True. The, they should have... Don't you think, um, oh wait, never mind. Stupid of me. <laughs> just, just a stupid thought occurred to me because then they couldn't do our time online or any more VR crap. And mm -hmm. when, when I was first watching Sword Art Online, I thought they should have mm -hmm. gone with that instead of the whole frying book. Frying brain crap, whatever it was. What? You know, um, how when they died in the game, they had the the thing that would fry them. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The microwaves or whatever. Yeah, I think yeah. they should have gone with the um, the convincing brain that you're dead instead. When I was watching it, but right, I, I that thought from the past occurred to me just now, and then I realised. Then they couldn't do the other VR games, you know. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, this this copying is going to be done in like fifteen seconds. It says. Sweet. Uh, oh, it and seems it's like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? So I'll be back. I wish I could pause okay. this recording. 
gotta always eject, you know. I'll be back. Okay. Hey, fatty. Back. Oh. So, we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... That NPC, Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? Does he not know Go what on. an NPC is? Apparently. And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? The hammer. That's what we gotta uh, think about. Now, let's all work together. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. <laughs> True. Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin then. It's like the soul of, um... The soul of Mew going to Kokichi. Yeah, man. Is... Should I... Should I get the uh, 3x joke on, on Mew? Is that meant to be kiss, kiss, kiss or something? No, that's meant to be like triple X's and like porn. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, they've really gone far with that. <laughs> Let's pin I that know. down. Virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. Um, cell phone, maybe. Oh. What else do we have? Let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to me? That's got nothing to do with it was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. It's possible she was pushed from a great height. Could she have drowned? We have to decide. In the virtual world, Mew was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Whatever did that to me. Oh, Mew's corpse. Was Strangulation. Right she was strangled. It has to be the hammer. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think strangulation is more likely. Oops. I agree. I agree. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. A red herring as well. Mm hmm Yeah, she looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Right. And a virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, 
She must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. Yeah, definitely. But didn't they explain in number two that if they knew that they were in the game, they would have survived? I don't know. Well, maybe they didn't and I just made that theory up in my mind. <laughs> Possibly. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility <coughs> of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest and mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the Assassin Master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. For some reason, her real life body was moving. And <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> in that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. Maybe that's what they use the um the toilet paper for. There are tons of cases where a weaker uh, person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Something else as a rope, hmm? I have an idea of what it might be. I found it during the investigation. Where are ya? Toilet paper. This is it! Boy. During the investigation, we found toilet paper outside the mansion. <laughs> That's gonna <see. laughs> That sounds weird. They strangled someone with toilet paper. Yeah, man. In reality, it would just play snap. Rip. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. <laughs> Going to no can ignore He's that. gonna say, oh no way, it'll break and crap. And yeah. Say the stupidest crap like that way. Like going to your huh? dumb. What's wrong? What's wrong? Shuichi goofing off. Not gentlemanly at all. Um. It's no time be. for nonsense! No can use toilet paper in place of rope. What tear too easy? Oh crap! Even is Gota that? know that, and Gota not smart. Killing games? Does that actually? Yeah, because things can't break, so it's like the rules, you know. Yeah. No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. You died such an awful death. So why you not take this seriously? You call yourself ultimate detective? Oh my god. <laughs> Use your head! Figure out real murder weapon! No, I'm positive toilet paper was used instead of rope. There's no time for nonsense! You know can use toilet paper in place of rope! What tear too easy! Boy. I'll cut through your words. What you got, boy? I would have had that from the start if the I could find it. Tear. True. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Breakable? I can't believe I figured that <laughs> out. So like, going to you didn't even know that? You know, I'm just if so objects smart. Objects can't break in that world. Then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Going to not really understand, but... How do you not understand? Like, even for a dumb person, how do you not understand that? 
You'll see. Is like the most layman term crap you can get, you know? It's like, how can you get simpler than that? Whatever. Sorry, Shuichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet paper. It was a fitting end for her. A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? No. What do you think? Hmm. To get rid of the evidence, for one. And secondly, I don't know, maybe they also used it as a normal rope to get up there for some reason. Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. True. There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Oh, Perhaps herring. the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. Or that. No, the culprit nope. didn't bring the hammer. Yeah. No? But who True. else would the culprit would bring a hammer? Uh, yeah, I know, but like, yeah. still. Wait, we already know who brought that hammer. Let's play me, you loser. That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? Because she wanted to build crap. She said that she got rid of all the weapons, so who else could have done that besides Mew? Blah blah blah, we know. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But... Why she do that? She wanted to kill someone. Um, what do you need for? We need to make that clear. So she could build. Bob the Builder. Mew the Builder. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning? Maybe that. But that was only wall. I mean... I don't see this having anything to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Maybe use it to break down a wall. Uses for a hammer. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. She probably just brought it for self-defense, or she secretly met up with someone. And tried to kill them with it. Mm, you possibly that. She was the victim. Let's assume that Mew. What was she trying to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall. This is for a hammer. Go to know. Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. She probably just brought it for self defense. So did she add it like? I agree. Afterwards, is some crap. Cause he's the What's one saying? that wanted to meet. He was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world and kill him. Um, that's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. With me, I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. Oh. Man. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet. So good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? Well, and that makes a lot more sense. Because <laughs> I, uh -huh. I, 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 was I was thinking of that, and then I was like, firstly, Kokichi's the one that 
asks Mew, and secondly, Mew would have already programmed the crap. So, like, <laughs> did she go out? And we already saw the login and crap, so she couldn't have gone out and played. True. If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. You know, that's pretty stupid when you think about it. The fact that they waited till afterwards to tell me that. Mm-hmm. was actually pretty stupid. Because that was a sort of half guess. Like, it was like... It was pretty dog, really. Yep. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to... kill Kokichi. That's it! She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep, she plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure Seems out right. which plan, okay? The thing about Kokichi is that... Look how chill he is, he doesn't give a crap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> He <no>. could have died. <laughs> That's why I love him so much. Muse plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we've found, I can figure something out. Alright, let's do it. Oh, okay. Wait, do, so there's not really a question. It's just... Is this just figuring out why and crap? You know? Is this just figuring out why? Okay, I'll just... Okay, so the... It says Kokichi. Wait, does it? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Or maybe this. You know what, let's just find it. Oh yeah, it does. Um. Uh. Who tried to kill Kokichi? One more box. Gee, um, Kokichi, he wanted to uh, kill himself. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It. I bet you Kaito would be one of the options. Probably. Yeah, I was yep. right. Again, it's like I'm trying to drive here, honestly. What? Can you read it for me? Sure. What was okay. me trying? Why was me trying to kill Ghost Gage? Um, uh, oh, where? Uh, I was where gonna say, was if it was why, I mean. I can't, I can't figure that out with all the evidence we've got. <laughs> yeah. That's a bit hard. <laughs> um, the roof. Yeah. Uh, oh, the virtual... The afterlife. That's why she didn't tell us. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't she have been sus? I don't know. Maybe she would have been better off telling us because then she it would have been so sus and she would have died. <laughs> yep. Oh crap. Oh my god. <laughs> I got one. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, 
notice. Oh, that doesn't do crap. Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? Oh, I don't... Um... Because I was trying to frame Kokichi. Yeah, that's the most... That was a bit random, though. <laughs> Divert attention. Divert attention? Yeah. It connects. Yeah, that last one was a bit <laughs> random to be honest. Yeah. In the real world. She placed the poison on oh. my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. Oh yeah, that too? sure. What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. And Something's definitely weird about that. Not oh, Miu was the last one. Um, Miu was the last one to join. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gonna say it. I bet he's gonna say, Oh, well, we would have noticed and crap. Yep. Yeah, log in, log in. When out, could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? Log back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't okay. see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then who um. put poison bottle? The only person who logged out early was Kaito. Kaito, your grave just got ten feet deeper! No, it wasn't me, guys! Um... When could Mew have put Which the poison one could there? Go to? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. She Probably. didn't log out. The thing that Kaito... Does that contradict no, it though? Kaito says. Does that contradict? You meant to agree with them. She hadn't logged in or out. What? Agree with them? That's what it was. Then who put poison bottle? Wait, what? What? You said agree with Kaito. Kaito, your grave just got ten. That's what it was. It was a blue. No, it wasn't me, guys. A contradict. I can't. It was an orange. What he said. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Kaito. Yeah. I mean, not Kaito. Kibo. Oh, okay. Then she must have logged out at some point. But it, it's not logging out. Oh, you're an idiot. I didn't idiot. say do that. What? I didn't say oh, do no. that. But, yeah, you did. I didn't. But you just said you have to agree with Kaito. And then... I, I said... No. I meant... I meant to say Kibo, but I meant to say... Not that to agree with him because you said that it was orange and I got confused and I thought you were talking about Kibo because that's what I meant to say. I was like, no, um, you meant to agree with him because it was blue. What? I wasn't. Mitchell walked in. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't worry. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. She didn't. And then what? She logged back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. Does that really contradict? Okay, whatever. Oh, I guess it does. It Why is just who such a... the poison on Kokichi's chair. 
She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Just the last one to blow. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right! She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat! <laughs> it was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault! Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. But not only that, but he was on the roof. So like, you know... Um... It's kind of... Yeah. <laughs> you say that? What? Mew used a method that only she yeah. could use to log Kaito out manually. How did me log Kaito out? The cell phone, you loser. Where are your cell phone? Cell phone? This is it! It was the cell what? phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Wow. Kaito Babota! Good, now he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But me never <coughs> mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. Uh oh. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, she sucked because we already figured it out. <laughs> True. Yeah, that would have been a really shitty case. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Huh? Wait. What were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Huh? Mommy? <laughs> My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. True. So that's why well, she guess decided to a... attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... Yeah, whatever. She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a sh I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation! Now we can start a real class trial! Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Hmm, really? 
I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting <laughs> things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma! Daddy, they're calling you a coward! Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? <laughs> there, I did it. He's completely lost his drive! Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame! Uh, my, my head! Listen up, Kokichi! To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! True. Well, huh, I get it. If you think you can win this game like that, Whoa. then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember... You and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locked the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm hmm I see. I didn't realize that. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> It's true. First, we need to determine if Mew was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she um, never on the roof at all? Mew is waiting for me to arrive. Oh, I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop know. of the mansion. No. Mio should have been at the chapel. Those loud noise. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood 
Give me up! Man, I'm just gonna say to loud noise. Arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mio should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Hokichi... She set me up! Mew is waiting for the I'd say... It goes with mansion. what Himiko says. Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell... It's right next to the chapel. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Shut up! I was wrong! I don't need you saying anything, okay, Matt? Don't need you saying anything. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the man. Kokichi agreed to meet up with Mew on the rooftop, but because the door to the rooftop was locked, he couldn't. Because of that, he returned to the salon and decided to search there. There are no witnesses who can confirm whether or not Kokichi was actually in the salon. No. Yeah, but that's that's not. Oh, so Miggy was. Oh, yeah, that's right. Searching outside. Of, oh. oh, I forgot about that. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. Maybe that. No, maybe it's what the other thing that she says then. You was waiting to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mio should have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's wrong. Mio must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, but... yeah. when I was searching oh, the dining room, room, I saw Mio pass by the window. Can I say something? Go. That evidence didn't really contradict what Himiko just said because it, she said that Mew should have been at the chapel, not she was at the chapel. There's a difference between True. saying where she should have been and where she was. So didn't. Mm -hmm. that, that's why I was confused. Anyway, um, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Um, give this. The, give this video a like and subscribe to my videos and turn the per, turn the um the bell notifications on whatever they say nowadays it's really changed